we just trying to figure out what's really the issue. Grand Rising. It's 5.55 in the morning, okay? Um... They want to talk too early this morning, okay? See what's going down. Why they have such a problem with the collective in this wee hours of the morning? Why these people got me up? Before work, too, baby. I was, Why they got me up, spirit? Somebody just don't want you to leave, okay? Somebody do not. They like, stay put, don't move. I want to move again with you here, okay? Well, why they got us up? Yeah, somebody's finally, somebody sees and they misses your nurturing with the Empress here. They miss your nurturing um, um, energy here. They miss who you are here. King of Wands here. This may be a fire sign here. Somebody... <clears throat> Somebody, well, this is, you know what this is giving me. Somebody played themselves here. You were trying to nurture something, but somebody was acting like you just didn't want them to leave or something like that. Or you just want all of their time. When really they want to give you all of their damn time, I don't... Really, they want to give you all of their time, but they acting like they don't want to give you your time. Yeah, they going into hermit mode here because you may have said something or did something. I'm getting nauseous. You may have said something or did something to push somebody back up off of you. <clears throat> Yeah, with the high priestess here, because you already know this. You already know somebody trying to play you for a simp, or not even a simp. They want to make sure. And it was probably something that you didn't even mean to do. You probably were just busy that day or something, and you couldn't talk or whatever. And you were like, I'm going to call you back. And then you call somebody back, and then this is what it is. I'm nauseous. You call somebody back, they be on the F shit, okay? That, that's what they on, the F shit. So when it's like when you communicate, you get some type of chip on the shoulder type of attitude. So you go into hermit mode as well. And so both of y'all are going into hermit mode, but you know exactly what's going down with this person here, okay? This person still wants to take action on you. They just... Big, having the big head here. Somebody getting the big head here. And that, that's the thing. Every time they get something good, they get the big head and shit go bad. And they think, woe is me. Woe is me. It's woe your attitude. Spirit trying to change your attitude here. And that's why you might miss out on a relationship right now. Because your attitude changes when you get started. I'm telling you, when your, your attitude changes when you get on the fucking high horse here. Somebody, you need to calm yourself down. You done got a little bit of... Some things working right in your life now. Now you ready to you ready to amp up and act a fool. Spirit said, calm down here. Because this will get your ass in trouble all the time here. Confusion and conflicts here, okay? We do not need you to go back to the past you. That's what Spirit is saying. Balance yourself out right now with the hierophant here. Spirit is talking. I'm giving you wisdom. I'm giving you good knowledge. I'm giving you a divine counterpart here. Because we see the empress on here and the high priestess on here. And the high friend. But we don't see no emperor. God is trying to give this person knowledge at this given point in time. Spirit is trying to get a person knowledge. And this person here is fucking it up. That's what I'm hearing. Somebody messing it up. Messing it up because they're conflicted in their mind. Like I said, they don't want to ever be treated beneath anybody again here. So now they're trying to step on somebody else's toes to treat them beneath them because they didn't got their little shit on. See, this person here is just getting back on. You've been on. 
See, that's what spirit is trying to say. You can't act that way to people and you just get back on. Even if you've been on, you don't need to act that way to nobody. Spirit is saying, just because you get on and you feeling good about yourself right now, don't mean that you you take everything out of character. Because, baby, the people that was there for you, you should know them right now. But the people that you wanted to impress, when they weren't there for you, now you in their circle. Now you, you now you ready to be in their circle here. And they still giving you, they're still not being wish fulfilled. That's not a wish fulfillment with you because this person here or these people here don't even want to work with your ass for real here. They like you for what you can give them. So while you out partying with all these different type of people here and you you putting a a commitment, you putting a real commitment, the real celebration, you putting on the back burner right here. Spirit say, all right, you're going to learn today. Whoever you putting on the back burner, whoever, whatever you putting on the back burner may not be there for you when you turn around and get off your damn high horse here. Because those people that you're trying to impress, they're going to show you again that you're still not shit without that money. I'm just saying. They're going to show you. Uh, yeah, King of Swords here. Like I said, they're going to show you how, how much of an enemy they are to the emperor here. Okay, the emperor is looking in all the wrong places here. And this new love that they're supposed to be going to, he going to fuck up and let somebody that's a king of cups come along and come get it. Somebody who wants to show this uh, emperor, em I mean, empress or emperor uh, love here. Somebody who already got it. Somebody who know how to, how to have money and love at the same time here. Somebody whose attitude that don't change because they got a little tricky. Yeah. Spirit, give me one more. I don't see... I see this is the battle of the ego and pride here. Nine of Pentacles here. Like I said, somebody is finally getting the fruits of their labor here. But you're going to cause more burdens on your life here because you're blocking out the wrong people here. You're fighting against the wrong people here. You're shining on the wrong people here. And you're going to move forward from and somebody it's a lover that's going to move forward here because you can't you don't know how to you know you just got to treat people how you want to be treated here and it's a lover that feel like you feeling yourself and, and if you feeling yourself go ahead on here ten of pentacles here with the page, yeah, page of swords and ten of pentacles here. You sit over here watching your money here. And you ignoring everything else that's going on around you here. Money can be the root to all evil. Um, it depends on how you use it and how you interpret money. So, basically somebody, um, you about to lose a mate if you don't... Stop acting like an egotistical, pompous jerk. You know what I'm saying? Just because you got cash now. Or just because you can you can stand on your own now. Or just because, you know, you don't get an attitude. You don't put the chip on your shoulder. What you do is you say, I am grateful. And you live in that moment. Because it's very much so a privilege and you seem to learn that when you have hit rock bottom, you'll learn that it's a privilege to have what you have and, and God don't have to give you anything. Okay? So, yeah, somebody get it together. You're about to lose a mate, baby. 